of what has already been a great series. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Solid check to slow him down. Moves it to Kamenev. Here's a chance. Well saved made by Huska. Nizhny Novgorod's got it in the wrong zone. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. You can play aggressive, but you got to walk the edge. This is an undisciplined penalty, and it's going to be a two minute minor. The checkers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Nizhny Novgorod's got possession while under man. Here's a short pass to Grigorenko. Scoops up the puck. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. Kamenev's got it against the boards. Here's the chance to set up now. Oh, it's in! He scores! The pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Moscow's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period. And, you know, there hasn't been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first goal. Got to hope that there's some more offense in this one. Handles the pass. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Moscow's got the puck against the boards. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out. But profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. They have to have mobility and they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot. And that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Take the shot. Takes the shot. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. Don't miss the chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Nizhny Novgorod's had a rough start and really put themselves in some bad spots to start the game, James. And as a result, they've turned over the puck. They haven't managed it. And I'm telling you, their coach is not going to be happy. Now he takes it over the line. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Whistle stops the play. Well, everyone has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. 
When the power play isn't working, James, you have to find a way to read the ice, go low to high, have the quarterback read it, and drive the puck towards the net. Turned aside with the glove by Huska. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Intercepted at center by Bill Reeve. Quick pass to Lee. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Deflected shot, and he's able to handle that one. And that's intercepted. Look at this, two on one. Sensitive pass. Oh my goodness, what a save here. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play has an opportunity to get the equalizer. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Score! And they convert on the power play. Well, they drew the penalty because they were competing and they were urgent on the puck, James, and then the same approach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it, and guess what? They're rewarded for their efforts. Well, how many times have we seen this before? Might as well put it on repeat, James. I mean, he is such a distributor of the puck. He finds the open player, but more importantly, the puck is flat, it's crisp, and it's right on the tape. Well past the midway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Nizhny Novgorod's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Levels him with the hit. Nizhny Novgorod's got a hold of the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here's the official call. Focus getting called for tripping on the play. Moscow's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an erred opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Kamenev's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Puck leads the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it again. Takes the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Marin's got the puck in his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Delayed penalty. Goaltenders at the bench. They got the extra attacker out there. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four on four on the ice. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Ahead of steam now towards the front. That's blocked by Huska. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Picks up the puck. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to one score! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. What an energizing moment for their team. I mean, you're out there on the penalty kill just trying to keep the game tied. And then you play aggressive and you get that shorthanded opportunity and execute. Excellent work by the PK. Moscow's got up by one here late in period number two. Well, there's not much difference in this game, James. That's why every goal matters. And they get the go-ahead heading into the intermission. If they can hold on to this, they're going to start the third period with a sense of urgency trying to hold that lead. 
Tries to the crease. And not much on that one. There's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Don't forget to check out tonight's game. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one to regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Tornadoes are right where they should be in this game, James, and that is behind entering the third period. Why? They just haven't had the puck. It hasn't been on their stick, which means they haven't been able to generate anything offensively. And makes the routine save. Huska's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Takes it across the blue line. Beats it over on the attack. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Here's a short pass to Borka. Takes it into the slot. Moves it quickly over to Latuna. Great reach with the poke check. And now he passes up to Abramov. Here's a chance. Oh, and he just puts it wide in there. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And in this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, this is the net. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. That's a great save, and the goaltender's like a sponge here. He just soaks and swallows it up and doesn't allow a second opportunity. Nizhny Novgorod's got the puck along the boards. Oh, a stick save for the feet. And look at this. They really ratchet up the intensity here. Good read with the stick to break that up. Up along the wing. Slides the puck to Latudov. With possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save in front. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. Well, I certainly had a great time. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Thanks so much for spending your time with us here this evening. And we will see you at the next playoff game.